So in this video here, um, I'm not going to be making any kind of quips. I'm not going to try to be funny. I'm not trying to entertain. I'm not going to call names. I'm not going to do anything but be as serious as I possibly can be. So, two years ago, former Jacksonville Jaguar linebacker Telvin Smith retired from football suddenly, and we didn't know why. We didn't know why. Um, there were rumors that he was heavily into drugs, which could still be the case. I don't know. Speculations ran wild, and we found out eventually, sometime last year, that Telvin Smith was arrested for sexual conduct involved with a minor. Um, yeah, and then um, today news broke that, uh, well, his court, his court hearing was today, and he was sentenced to three years probation, and they gave him credit for one year served. The details that I read in the, um, in the report, in the article that I read online, um, disturbed me. They disturbed me. They saddened me. Um, Telvin Smith was one of my favorite players. In fact, I would say before all this, if you would ask me um, for a list of my top 10 favorite Jaguars of all time, he'd probably be on the list. He probably would be on that list. Telvin Smith was a ball hawk, constantly around the ball. If there was a fumble, he was the first one there. Multiple pick sixes, always had like 120, 130 tackles a year, always around the ball. Wherever the ball was, he was. And even if the Jags sucked, even if we knew we were we were going to get destroyed in whatever game or we were going to lose or whatever the one thing that you can guarantee one thing you could count on as a Jaguar fan was that Telvin Smith was going to make a play in that game that was going to get you pumped up he was going to do at least one probably two possibly five and As a player, I love him. But, however, as a man, um, I have no respect. I have no respect. According to the report, he tried to bribe this young girl, 17-year-old girl. Um, in the state of Florida, it is a felony to um if you are if you are over the age of 24 and you have sex with a girl who is 17 or younger that is a second degree felony um not only did he have sex with this girl after he knew that she was underage uh the report goes on to say that he tried to pay her $200 to um for her silence, essentially. And then um, the report says that there was another time after that that they um, that they had sex in his car or something. I don't know. Um, you know, I remember when the... Uh, the uh, I can't speak. When the reports first came out last year, I was thinking, well... 
maybe because I heard the girl was 17 and I said, well, maybe, maybe she's one of those 17 year olds that looks like she's 21, 22. Maybe she lied to him and then he didn't find out till afterwards. That is not the case. That is not the case. And I can't defend that as much as it pains me. You know, this, this is a video, I'm, I'm very somber in this video because Tobin Smith was my guy. He was my guy. 2018, Paul Puzlesny retired in that off season. And Telvin Smith gave the introduction for Paul's retirement speech. And Telvin Smith cried and he broke down in tears and he apologized to Paul because we couldn't, his words were he, that we couldn't get it done. We couldn't finish it for you because of obviously how close we came in 2017. When I watched that for the first time, I cried along with Telvin Smith. And the guy was just emotions on his sleeves and just seemed like from what I'd seen on, on like Facebook groups and stuff, people always saying like that have met him, how great of a guy he is and just how awesome and friendly he was. And it's, it's sad. It's sad. I remember the one play of his that I, uh, it always sticks out to me is against Pittsburgh in the playoffs when Unique Ngakwe caused the sack fumble and Telvin Smith is the farthest person from the ball and yet he's the first one there and he outruns everyone on that field and at that point the Jags are up 28-7 going into, going into halftime and I was acting a fool in the Buffalo Wild Wings when that happened and I was losing my mind because I was delirious with joy. And Talvin Smith brought a lot of memories to me like that. Um, yeah. It's upsetting. It's very upsetting. Um, Talvin Smith, if you ever watch this video, I know you probably never will, but I loved you as a Jaguar. I have no respect for you as a man. I hope you get help. I hope that you, this probation period that you're on, I hope that you seek the help that you desperately need. Um, the article that I read said that he's uh, mandated to go to psychosexual counseling, whatever that is. Go to it. Don't skip. Go to it. Get help. Change your life. I don't want to make a video in a month that you do something stupid on this probationary period and you're in jail and you're in prison because that would break my heart even more than it's already broken. I really have nothing else to say to you um, other than you let me down you let a lot of people down. But most importantly, you let yourself down, dude. Like, you were, you were beloved by this fan base. You were just paid a massive contract, deservedly, deservedly. And you pissed it away for some 17-year-old girl. And you probably scarred her for life too you did her wrong you did yourself wrong like you need help dude you need help and that's really all i gotta say to you man i'm heartbroken i'm heartbroken but at the same time you disgust me but i hope you get help go jaguars 
I'm out.